Hey guys, welcome to another XP video and probably one of the final ones in our XP series. When we started to do the XP configurations, we started to look at security and whether or not XP was actually a secure or insecure operating system or unsecured operating system. Whether or not XP could be used on a daily basis and whether or not you really have to worry about XP's um, lack of updates and security functions going to the current time, going towards Windows 10 and Windows 11. How much more unsecured is using Windows XP than using Windows 10 or 11? So what we'll start this video out with is the security of Windows XP. And understanding that, I used two different scanners for this test. And I used four different scenarios for this test. So the first scenario and configuration we'll go over is we used the vulnerability managers plus from manage engine to run a scan against our XP machine. And surprisingly, after adding our XP machine to the domain, installing all of the XP updates, configuring our firewall with group policy, adding the updated ADMX and ADML controls to Windows XP, and applying the CIS benchmark for Windows 10 to Windows XP, the scanner in the managed engine came back with nothing, no vulnerabilities whatsoever. So that made me concerned that perhaps the scanner in the managed engine didn't support Windows XP enough to allow us to scan the operating system. So my next step was to roll out the Nessus scanner. So Tenable's Nessus scanner. In doing that, I ran the same scan again against our Windows XP machine to test to see specifically what we come back with from a security standpoint as far as missing security configurations on Windows XP. So what we find is actually interesting. So if we drill down into our XP configuration, we could see that what we have is we have six. We have six information notifications for Windows XP. Specifically, these are the six things that come back as possible issues with our Windows XP machine. Now, mind you, that means that XP at this point, with all the updates to 2021, with its Windows firewall configured and a CIS, CIS, CIS benchmark, does not come back with any vulnerabilities other than six infos. So let's drill into these infos and see what actually shows. So the first one we're going to drill into here is Ethernet card manufacturer detection. And if we go into there, we can see that it identifies as VMware, which is what it is. It's a virtual system on a VM player. Um, so that's fine. I mean, realistically, do you want this showing up on a scan? Probably not. You probably want to have that blocked so it doesn't show anything. But we could fix that if we want to with the Windows firewall. So the next one is Ethernet MAC address. And if we drill into that, it's a little bit of the same thing. We can see that the MAC address for the actual network adapter is here. Now, keep in mind, it's virtual and it'll change. So, you know, feel free to write it down if you want to do something with it, whatever. Um, at any rate, there's really no security issues here based off of this. We have our private IP address. We have our configured MAC address that shows we see a risk factor of none. So these are just informa informations that come back on our actual scan. Next, we could see that our DNS scan comes back and shows our DNS name for the actual XP machine here. Um, again, risk factor is none. And this is, again, Windows XP on a full Nessus scan. Um, the Nessus scan information will come back. It'll tell us additional information about the actual system. And if we scroll down here, we can see all of the configurations that it went through, uh, including the port scanner. Uh, we don't see anything really in here as far as security concerns for Windows XP. There's nothing spectacular in here that will tell us whether or not this thing's actually uh, acceptable to anything. Um, if we drill down into the trace route, we'll see that an error detected along the way because there's a firewall. So you, once you get to the firewall, it's going to error out. Um, and if we go to VMware machine detection, again, we could see the MAC address and we can see that we do have a vulnerability here. 
So if you look up what this actual vulnerability is, it's because the XP machine runs an older version of the VMware tools. So if we uninstall that, or if you're running this on a piece of hardware with the same configuration, this wouldn't show up. And that's all you have is the six. Now, this drastically changes if we remove the system from the, the, the group policy configuration and the firewall configuration on XP. If you run this out of the box with any of the security policies configured, then this number drastically increases. Let's take a look at that next. Okay guys, so welcome back now that we're looking at this from an XP perspective as far as Windows XP out of the box. And what that means is this is an XP machine that traditionally you would get at home or you install the updates and then you just use it. You would let Microsoft basically control the security of your Windows XP machine. And as such, because of this machine's out of date age and the lack of any of the modern configurations as far as security is concerned, we're gonna see that we have a big red bar here. And that's 129 critical vulnerabilities reported. That's 266 high vulnerabilities reported. That's 43 medium vulnerabilities reported and then 134 optional changes that'll likely need to be made. And likely this info would go down if we manually controlled this and made the changes. Obviously, I would never do that because we have the CIS benchmark available, which would give us the ability to actually lock this down. But let's drill into this and take a look. So if we look, we could see that we have 99 Google Chrome issues reported, 99 plus. So there's probably over 100 in here. And this is likely because I have Chrome running in the older version. And you'll see that every single one of these is because we are a certain patch or a certain vulnerability fix below what's available on Chrome. So that tells us right off the bat that if you're running XP right now and you have Chrome installed, chances are you have a serious security hole in your operating system. Now, if we scroll back to the vulnerabilities here and we take a look at something maybe a little more controllable, which is Windows itself, Let's drill down. We can see we have 87 here listed for Microsoft bulletins. And if we look, these are all the required changes, the code changes that need to take place in order for us to secure the Windows XP machine. And if we were to drill down further, we could see specifically what needs to change between one and the other. The thing is, is this is all automatically changed or really manually changed once we put the CIS benchmarks in place. And the reason that is, is because is because in the configuration on the CIS for Windows 10, all of the issues that are in here as listed as issues have been corrected with controls through Active Directory, through group policy. The things that are not listed or that have not shown up on the other policy scan, like for instance, SMB1, the reason why they don't show up is because the CIS firewall configuration for Windows 10 disables SMB1. So from a functional standpoint, putting those CIS benchmarks in place will likely limit your ability to use Windows XP as a daily operating system. So you won't be able to access file shares and whatnot the same as you would be without the CIS benchmark. You're also going to be blocked uh, by the firewall configuration for additional things that work or are native to XP that don't exist in Windows 10 or 11. However, from a security standpoint, Windows XP is a lot more secure with the CIS benchmarks for Windows 10 and 11 put into place on the XP machine. So the takeaway on this is that XP is very secure with the CIS benchmarks. But the question is, is how does it compare to Windows 10? Let's take a look at that. Okay, guys, so this is Windows 10. Now we're looking at a Windows 10 machine with no policy configuration. And as you can see, we're in the same boat as we were with Windows XP with the policy configuration enabled. Um, I mean, there are more things here listed for vulnerabilities, even though they're only info. There are more things listed as info uh, suggestions in Windows 10 than there are in a secure Windows XP. But really, it's about one to one. There's really not much of a difference between the two um, as far as a security standpoint. With that said, that means that realistically, Windows XP, with all the CIS benchmarks, and it configured with the secure CIS configuration, in all honesty, is more secure than Windows 10 is if there's no server infrastructure environment 
involved. But let's see how secure Windows 10 is once we add the CIS benchmarks to it. Let's see what we get back as our final scan. Okay guys, so this is Windows 10 with the CIS benchmark applied. Now the CIS benchmark for Windows 10 was designed for Windows 10 for this particular version that I'm running. Um, and I'm running the same exact CIS benchmark configuration for the XP machine. So we should see similar results if the operating systems are similar. But they're not. We have a pretty big difference here in what shows as a info or a questionable security configuration on Windows 10 than we did on Windows XP. So when I drill down into this, because we, sh we show as 19 infos, and if we drill down into this, we'll see that nine of these are related to firewall configurations. And the firewall configurations are specifically for high ports with the RPC service, which is not really a big deal. In reality, none of these are really a big deal. However, there's still more of them than there are on Windows XP. So now, if we look at this from a functional standpoint, Windows 10 is clearly still the winner. It's the latest operating system. It has all the patches. It functionally works. You could add it to a domain. The network infrastructure works. It's, it's supported by additional software. So if I install Chrome on this thing right now, we're not going to get the same errors that we did in Windows XP. It's a lot more secure from a functional standpoint. And at no point should you be running Windows XP as your daily driver, especially at this point. However, I think this test proves that if we have CIS benchmarks applied to a Windows XP machine in the infrastructure, and we have a way of using that XP machine not on the domain, then that XP machine is arguably as secure as Windows 10 is, but perhaps not as functional as Windows 10 is. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, setting this up and getting the scanning running. Definitely add some comments in the comment section. I'm really curious what your take is on this. And thanks for sticking around through the series.